and so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do my god is so big and so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do my god is so big and so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do my god is so big and so strong and so mighty My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Hello, boys and girls from King Street, South Carolina, and all kids from around the world. Welcome to today's children's church lesson. I bet many of you are wondering why I have donuts going all over the place behind my head. How many of you love a Good donut. Let me hear your answer. What's your favorite flavor? Mmm. You know what my favorite flavor is? Chocolate. I love a chocolate donut. And I bet many of you love chocolate donuts with sprinkles. Look at the ones behind me. They're so pretty, aren't they? They look yummy. Well, guess what? Our lesson has something to do with the donut. You see, well, Miss Christy, how does a donut have anything to do with church and Jesus and the Bible? Well, let's find out. So we are in the book of Romans. Okay, we're still going through our New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. Sixth book in the New Testament. We are in the book of Romans. Okay, we are in Romans 8 today. And I'm going to focus on just a few of the scriptures. 
But before I really do, I want to start thinking about how to make a donut. Have y'all ever made a donut before? Have you ever found a recipe before and tried to ask your parents to help you make a donut maybe? Well, I have our ingredients on how to make a donut with me today. So the first one I'm gonna to talk to you is about flour. Okay, we need flour to make donuts. Does that look good? You think I could eat that by, my, by itself? That probably won't taste any good, right? So this reminds me of days when things are dry. Do you ever have just some days that they're just so boring and dry and just you just wish, I don't know, that something else would have happened to you that day? It was just not exciting at all? Yeah, so this is kind of like that kind of day flour. Okay, the next thing we need for our donuts are is nutmeg nutmeg is another dry ingredient it has a little bit more flavor but again it's kind of boring i don't think i'd really want to eat nutmeg by itself i mean maybe if i pour a little flour in there and eat it you think that would be good for me and it would be good for me it would taste good no probably not none of these taste good and you know you have those kind of days where it's boring where you have not much to do maybe um Maybe your power's out. Maybe there's been a bad storm and there's no TV. There's just nothing to do. You can't go anywhere. You can't go outside. It's boring. And that's really hard on those kind of days to not complain, right? And of course, we know what the Bible says to do. We're supposed to praise God anyway, right? Okay, let's see what else. Salt. I got to have salt to be able to make donuts. Can I eat that by itself? Yuck. I and mean, if I took these all these separate ingredients and ate them, that probably wouldn't be much good. All right, the next thing we need is a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil. I brought my whole big container of oil. Can you see that through there? That's my oil. Okay, so you're going to have to have oil and butter. And that's kind of like days that just slip on by you. You get so busy. You get so caught up with school or with whatever you've got going on, birthday parties, maybe shopping for new school clothes, and they just slip on by you. And maybe you don't spend the time with the Lord like you need to. I mean, sometimes, you know, things can get so busy and they just pass, those days just pass right on by you, just like butter and oil, right? Because butter and oil are slippery. Now, the next thing you need for donuts, to make a donut, is milk. Now, this tastes really good. So, if I sat here and drank this milk, ooh, mmm. Yep, that tastes good all by itself. I'm not sure I wanted to taste the butter or the flour or the nutmeg mm -mm, or the salt. No, that stuff. But this milk tastes good. And we have good days sometimes, right? Hopefully, we have more good days than we do bad days. Does that sound familiar? Maybe a good day would be having a birthday party with a friend, right? Or going to church and seeing a friend you haven't seen in a long time, that would be a really good day, kind of like milk. All right, sugar. You think I should just eat this sugar all by itself? You think that tastes good? I mean, I like things with sugar. I love a good candy bar or a sucker or a donut because donuts have sugar. They taste really sweet, right? But by itself, not so much. But this does remind me of sweet days. Again, kind of like the milk, such as like birthdays, right? That is a sweet thing. Or kind of also makes me think of God's love. You know, his love for us is sweet. If you've ever felt the love of Jesus, whenever someone gives you a hug, that feels sweet. That feels so good, especially if it comes from your mother, your father, or somebody in your family, right? It just feels so wonderful and that's how God's love is for us his love is sweet all right so then there's two more things that I really want to focus in on to make donuts you have to have eggs you have to have eggs yes lots of eggs this is what makes your donuts stick together and you know we've been talking about how in the book of Romans, it's told us how we are sinners, for we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, right? We are all sinners. But God takes all of these things 
whether they're dry days, whether they're good days, whether they're bad things that we've done, all these things. And he takes it and he sticks it together into one thing. And this is what Romans 8, 28 says about it. This is our memory verse. So pay attention as I read it to you. It says, and we know that all things work together for those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose. Let me say that again. Okay, I'm reading it slow because I really want you to focus in on this verse this week. Because life has been so crazy. With all of this COVID stuff, people are still at home. They still can't get out. And it seems so hard and it just seems like it's never going to go away. But you know what? God has a purpose for all of this. And he's going to take all of this, these crazy days that we're experiencing right now. And he's going to turn it around for his good and for his glory. Just kind of like this donut turns into, it, all these ingredients turn into a good donut, right? So he's got a purpose. So pay attention to this verse one more time, okay? And we know that all things work together for those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. He has a plan. Just like I showed you with all of these ingredients, the flour, the nutmeg, the salt, I have a plan to take all of this and turn it into a good donut, right? But God has a plan to take all of these crazy things, sickness, maybe you've been sick, being tired, the hard days. He has a plan to take all of it and turn it into something really, really great. He's got a purpose for you and he's gonna take all these bad days and all these bad things that are happening and he is going to win. And he's gonna help you win too, okay? And let me tell you how I know. Romans 8.37 says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him, then, through him who loved us. Let me read that again because I kind of got tongue twisted. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. A conqueror is somebody who wins. I can conquer this task before me. I can take this flour and these eggs and the milk and the salt and the oil and I can make my donuts into something good. So that helps me to understand that by the word of God, guess what? He's telling us, hold on, don't quit. I'm gonna take all these bad days and all this crazy stuff happening and I'm gonna make it into something wonderful for those who love him. Do you love him today? If you do, just I praise the Lord that you do. But hang on. Don't give up. Don't let go of God. Keep trusting him because he's going to take care of you. Now there's one more ingredient that I left out that I did not tell you about. Because I want to tell you something a little bit even just as exciting as what I told you about. Maybe more. This is yeast. You have to have yeast in your donut. This yeast right here will help your donut to grow. Okay? And that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to keep learning more and more about him. And he wants us to keep believing that he's going to work things out for our good and that we are conquerors through him. And that means when we believe that and we start walking in that and we start acting on that and not complaining and not worrying about these bad days, we are growing to be more and more like Jesus every day. So now say with me, I am a conqueror because I love Jesus. Say that again. I am a conqueror because I love Jesus. Jesus, 
Do you love him today? Do you know him today? Now let's pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you that there are, throughout all the things that are going on in our world, God, you are there right with us. That you are going to take all of this stuff that's happening right now in this world and you're going to take it and turn it around for our good because we love you, Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, that as we go out this week, that we will remember this word, that we will not worry, we won't complain, but we will praise you, Father God, because we have a hope in you, Jesus. And we know that if we stay in you and stay in your word and keep believing in your word, that we will be conquerors through you. And we praise you for that today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye. See you next time. Love y'all. Yeah.